we all need them. Let me share with you where politics and finances merge. And this is the editorial this morning from the Financial Times. The headline, No More Waiting for Diamond. The editorial points out that the withdrawal of Peter Diamond's nomination to join the feds as the Board of Governors is a serious blow to that body and to the circumstances surrounding it, another sign of Washington's dysfunction. Mr. Diamond is widely regarded as among the most brilliant economists of his time. Republicans in Congress delayed his nomination for more than a year, and Democrats, it must be said, did not try very hard to force the issue. You know, this is something that is really personally annoying to me, that we would really mix the setup in these politics and you'd hold up these kinds of, you know, stellar, the man's a Nobel laureate in economics, and um, that, you know, that, that the head of the banking committee had the audacity to say he wasn't qualified to do the job, given some of his specialties have to do with these very issues that were t the Federal Reserve is tasked with tackling today. Um, really, it is leaving the Fed short-staffed. This Federal Reserve has been short staffed and understaffed at the board level because of these political gamemanship on both sides of the aisle. It happened during the Bush administration with the Democrats holding up um, appointments and it happened during the Obama administration with the Republicans holding up. Both sides are equally guilty on this and it is ridiculous at this day and age when the Fed is playing such a critical role in stabilizing financial markets. We're asking them to step in and be you know, the lender of last resort, to be the savior of last resort, to fill roles that they never had expected they'd have to play in the global as well as the U.S. economy and to not staff them appropriately is just reprehensible. So I do have a strong opinion on that and I do not understand the politics on both sides of the aisles that you would hold up such important appointments to the Federal Reserve of people that were very qualified under the um, Bush administration. Radney Krosner, a good friend of mine at University of Chicago, also very, very qualified, had to leave the board because he could not get reappointed. Diamond, very, very important influential, important economists, and ridiculous that they would hold that up and not appoint qualified people to have the board fully staffed. Again, uh, this